So what do you got today? Well, I brought on a, a remnant of my childhood past, and it's not a childhood toy though. Oh, okay. It's a childhood memory. So back when I was, uh, when I got a telly, when I was about 30, my sister Penelope had learning difficulties. Sadly, she's passed away now. Um, but she was 22 years older than me, I believe. And uh, Penny, as a child, used to walk me to school. And then when Channel 4 were repeating the show Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea by Owen Allen, Penny loved it. So I used to sit there, she had a bit of a crush on David Hedison. <laughs> <laughs> Who can blame her? Well, yeah, he's a, he's a <laughs> lovely looking fellow and a very nice man back when I met him. Um, and it's the only time I've ever had anything signed actually with David Hedison. Yeah. I'm not bothered by famous no, people no. at all. But it was exciting because it was David Hedison. It was so much. So I bought a toy from that era which reminds me not only of my sister Penny, but it also reminds me of that show and how those, those afternoons spent with Penny watching Irwin Allen things. So when I've lost in space, what is the bottom of the sea? But this is the Remco Sea View. This is a toy which I've long lusted after. It's a toy which has escaped my grasp. And it is, by my own admission, a bit rubbish. <laughs> it's the wrong colour for a start, but I just absolutely love it. It's just such a cheap toy. It came in a big open box when it was new, mm. like an open fronted box. And I would have, I still want a really nice box one, but they're just so expensive now. And it comes as well with the little mini sled, which is very, very, you know, it could be anywhere. That it could be in space, could be under the sea. It's just a brilliant, brilliant thing. So it, it's the memories that are involved with the yeah. toy, associated to the toy. And back when I first started toy dealing, there were many influential toy dealers in the UK, which used to import stuff from the States. And this was a pickup that people wanted. These are what the older guys, the older generation would have gone, I want one of them, I want it mint, I want it boxed. And these guys would get it in from the States and I would go to toy fairs and look at these things and go, oh, and then I'd never be able to afford them. So this one, this one's a bit beat up. This was owned by a friend of mine called Stuart and he, he advertised it for sale. I went, oh, I've got to have it. <laughs> I mean, it's actually had a repair here. Yeah. Because it is breaky. It's one of those things that, you know, you can, it is cheap. It is cheap. It looks cheap. And it is cheap. And it is cheap. <laughs> This is fantastic, though. That's so. I've not seen this one. No. Has that been sat at the shop? That has been sat at the shop. <laughs> and I've I, never seen that. I haven't took it home. <laughs> and it's going home today. That's really cool. That's such a cool item. But as you say, yeah, it could be in the sea, it could be in space. Yeah. It's really cool. And the little guys, yeah. they're amazing. There's a lot of play value in there. Yeah. A lot of play value. Very cool. Very, yeah. very cool. And, and although I didn't have it as a kid, and although this one has had that repair at the back, and I still. I don't know, this is just somehow great. And I'm, I'll yeah. be honest, I think that's rubbish. <laughs> I, I love, love that. This. I love, I nearly bought, I've got a massive model kit, one of these. It's huge. But I just didn't want to, it's mm. like this, it's massive. I didn't want to bring that in, because no. would, it would break. Um, and this one's been sat at the shop, and I've been meaning to take it home. So today's the day, it comes home today. <laughs> We'll take it home, put it in its right place on the shelf, and you're wrong. <laughs> Not for the first time, Mr. Gav. Yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> I love my Remco Seaview, even though it is a bit rubbish. <laughs> there we go. So, what's next? What's next? What you brought? What have I brought? <laughs> I'll move mine out of the way to make room for yours, Mr. Gav. Okay. Tell us what you brung. So, story behind this. Yeah. It was the very first time I was selling my artwork at Comic Cons. Right. I didn't have much money at the time. No. And I'd had a wander around before, see what was out there. And I saw these and I looked longingly at them and they were 50 pounds, which was a lot of money. Yeah. It's like I didn't want it. But I'd made some money selling my artwork. It was a great time, so exciting. So I went back and I picked these up. Charlie's Angels Little Barbies. <laughs> I was expecting something good when you said all that. Oh, what? You drew Look me in him. with the story. Look at them. Pink label. You know, they do a lot of cool pink label things, but I think that's fantastic. Look how cute they are. Look at the perfect little 70s outfits. And like, and now I look at this to this day, and it takes me back to that Comic Con where I first started selling my artwork. You know, this is what I paid, this is what I bought with the money. <laughs> I just, 
<laughs> I love the I story. Can I can understand that you question it. I love the story. But look at them, they're really cute. <laughs> they're just weird little dolls. No, they're nice. The I'm outfits. amazed by her hair. Oh, Farrah. Look at Farrah. She's her great. hair's amazing. <laughs> I mean, two bold men commenting on hair, she yeah. probably shouldn't be. I wasn't thing. even a big fan of Charlie's Angels. Didn't really no, watch it. It was right. before our time. But they were just too cute. <laughs> It was the outfits that sold me. Outfits and the hair. Outfits and hair? Yeah. Could have been anyone, really. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I love the story. Mm. I think the toy <laughs> leaves fantastic. a bit to be done. I bet it's dead expensive. I bet there's people that absolutely I love bet, that. I, yeah, I've not even looked these yeah. days. Yeah. I bet they're hard to get hold of. I bet up. they're expensive. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to look that up. 99p on eBay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll have some more. All right. I'll have an opener. <laughs> well, you were. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. You know. I don't know, I nearly got enthusiastic then about them. I, I, I can see, you are, I can see your excitement there for a second. I can see why you like them, yeah. and I love the story behind them. But I just don't get if you like, and, and we've both been in that situation, we've yeah. both been absolutely skinned. Yeah. And just to spend £50 that you'd made I know, that day. I know, £50. On, on them. <laughs> yeah. I'm questioning his sanity, to be honest with you. I'll be, I'll be <laughs> oh dear. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. No, not having it. Thank you.